Long form to short form or short form to long form. What's the correct way to repurpose content? Now, content repurposing doesn't have to be a straight line from A to B. It can definitely be as straightforward as taking a long form piece like a 10 minute video and chopping it down into smaller pieces like snackable 60 second video bites for social media. But you can repurpose in reverse too and take short form content and turn it into long form content and then take that content and make short form content again so it can get very meta. Now, to be honest, content repurposing can be a higgledy-piggledy line that can go up, down, twist, turns, and does a few roller coaster loops along the way. But that's what makes it so brilliant for maximizing your content. The opportunities really are endless. And that's what I want to open your eyes up to in this short episode. I'm going to share some real world examples for maximizing your content, whichever direction you decide to repurpose in. So long form to short form, short form to long form. But first, I want to get into why it's important to mix up your content repurposing workflow by touching on two things. Now, number one, mindset. Content repurposing is a mindset more than anything else. Yes, there are techniques and processes, but you have to train yourself to be able to see the potential that your content can have, big or small. And you have to be open to content opportunities and not have a fixed mindset. So find out more in my podcast episode called The Content Repurposing Mindset. And number two is to focus on continuous improvement. Like any system or process within your business, things can get stale. And when things stagnate, it can be really difficult to keep moving forward, let alone at the pace you want to. So it's important to diversify your strategy from time to time and figure out what moves the needle for your business and what doesn't. So I've spoken before about overcoming stale strategies. So if this sounds like it could be a problem in your business, do go check out episode 195 called Could Your Content Strategy Be Holding You Back? So all of this mindset and continuous improvement applies to your repurposing methods. So let's say you're recording a long form piece of content every week. So let's say a 20 minute podcast episode, and then you repurpose that into content that you'll distribute over the course of many weeks. So you you might repurpose a 20 minute podcast episode into one blog post, three 30 second audiograms, two social media graphics and some accompanying text posts for social media. And week in week out, you start with the long form content and chop it down into smaller and smaller pieces until you have a library of short form pieces. And then you head back to the drawing board and start creating the next long form piece of content. Now this is a brilliant strategy. It's the kind of comprehensive and consistent content repurposing process that I have developed a business out of serving other businesses by doing exactly that for them. So if you are doing this and it's working for your business, then keep doing what you're doing. But you can also mix it up a bit too. And one way is to consider that you don't always have to repurpose in that direction. It doesn't have to start with the long form and break down into the short form. This is the brilliant thing about content repurposing. You can be so creative with it. Now, I've already talked a little bit about how you can break long form down into short form. So let me share some examples of how you can repurpose in the other direction from short form to long form. Now, arguably the most abundant short form content on the internet is social media posts. You might already be sharing lots of these, your tips, your opinions, getting your thoughts out there to engage with your audience and stay front of mind. Well, how about increasing your ROI with these posts by repurposing them into something longer? So let's say one of your LinkedIn posts really struck a chord and lots of people engaged with it. You could use that post as inspiration for more social media posts for other platforms such as Facebook and Twitter and see if they get the same response. But you could also take that LinkedIn post and develop it out a bit further. You'll have an article for Medium or a blog post for your website. And you may be thinking that your LinkedIn posts are just not meaty enough to turn into an article. And in that case, how about a selection of posts being turned into an article or blog post? So take a look at your LinkedIn post that you've written and see if there's a theme that runs across a handful of them and work out if those LinkedIn posts could actually be brought together and re purposed into a blog post where each LinkedIn post is a section of the blog post because it's often the case that we can collate our short form content together to create our longer form content. 
So that's just one way you can repurpose a text only social post or many posts into something much longer. And I said a LinkedIn post, but we could have been talking about tweets or Twitter threads or Facebook posts as well. Now something great about turning social media posts into something bigger is that you've already validated the content with your audience. I really recommend this approach and I actually shared a really in-depth look at using social posts to test the water with your long-form content in episode 183 called How to Validate Your Content Ideas. So for more tips on repurposing your social posts into those long-form pieces of content, do check that episode out. Here's another great example, and this time using video. So let's say you record weekly video interviews with experts, and as part of the show format, you ask the same killer question to each guest. Let's say it's, what's your biggest tip for someone starting out? And you repurpose that long form video interview into short videos for social media. And one clip that you always pull out is the answer to that killer question. So here's an idea, decide what you think are the best of the best responses to that question and take all of the repurposed short social media videos from each expert interview and repurpose them by editing them together to create a brand new long form video called what 20 experts said about getting started or whatever the topic may be. So you took a long video and you turned it into shorter videos, you generated a collection of shorter videos and found a new way to repurpose them in order to create a new longer video. And then from this longer video, you can repurpose further into blog posts and email to your subscribers, more social media content, maybe an infographic. There are lots and lots of possibilities. Now I said it can get a bit meta and there you can definitely see how it can. So I'll leave you with one final thought. How about repurposing long form into longer form content? Now this is an episode in its own right, but here's an example. So you know all those blog posts that you wrote, how about repurposing them into a white paper, an online course, or even a published book? So it's easy to see that there's no one right way to repurpose. You can go forwards, backwards, or upside down with it. The important thing is to always approach your content repurposing with an open mind. And who knows what you'll repurpose your content into next.